Um, we, let's see, we will now receive public testimony on non-agenda items. And um, we're gonna start with our in-person. Okay, next we have Sandra Appling. Good evening, um, my name is Sandra Appling. I'm here to follow up on remarks I made at the March um, school board meeting um, in regards to inclusion, specifically with special education. As a reminder, my children attend Grant uh, School and my son is a part of the moderate to severe special education program. A decision was made to close that program without any input from those affected by the change and in spite of data showing that Grant has better than district average outcomes for students with disabilities. These BIPOC disabled students are being singled out to be removed from their high performing school where they're continually seeing um, successes year over year. I'm here with members of my school community because we are following up um, and following Dr. Jackson's words of action on being unapologetic about our commitment to equity and inclusion. Since the March, uh, March meeting, uh, my husband and I have had the opportunity to meet with Deputy Superintendent Dr. Bagula. We left that me meeting with a feeling, a sense of being heard for the first time since we learned of this plan change. We have not gotten that sense from our school administration, from other district administrators in our area, or from the special education district team. We left that me meeting with confidence and gratitude in Dr. Bagula's decision-making process and her commitment to look closely at this situation and help it be addressed. Our school community is going to continue to be committed in the preservation of that full, full community, and we are going to be continued to be committed in the preservation of this program on our school campus and in equity and inclusion so that all abilities are re represented on our, on our campus. We will continue to keep this topic at the top of the mind while a review is being um, held. Thank you. Thank you very much. And next we have Jennifer Medeiros. Good evening, Dr. Jackson and members of the school board. First, I would like to thank you for guiding San Diego Unified towards meaningful systemic shifts that will impact the ability of all students to learn and grow in a way that elevates and celebrates their identities, their interests, and their aspirations. As an administrator in a neighboring district, I rely on SDUSD's willingness to act as a beacon for equitable systemic shifts. As a parent, I appreciate the ability to reference equity-minded board policy when I'm advocating for my children and for the other children children at Grant TK-8. I'm addressing you this evening in my capacity as PTA president to request that you reconsider the decision to remove Grant's moderate and severe special education programs from our GECO community for three key reasons. First, this decision was not made in a way that designs for belonging. How was power shared in this scenario to consider the insights and experiences of the educational partners closest to the source? Second, this decision will mostly impact Grant's families of color and displaces the majority of our BIPOC certificated and classified staff. While I understand that these individuals will not lose their access to services or their jobs, they will lose their homeschool, they will lose their learning community, and ours will be less vibrant without them. Finally, this decision prioritizes the comfort of adults over the needs of young people. Our youth deserve to stay in a proven program with staff who know them, love them, and have, the, have built a thriving learning community where children prosper not just academically, but social, emotionally, and in their functional life skills. There has to be a better way. Tonight, we saw presentations from amazing young people, and we mourned those who left us too soon. There, they are all that matters. As leaders, it's not enough to say that we value children. We must be brave and fight for them, especially when it's uncomfortable, especially when the dignity and the humanity of our children, our families, and our educators have not been prioritized. Please exhibit the creative courage to reconsider this structural change, or at the very least, use the 23-24 school year to build a team who can design a solution that is right for the humans it is meant to serve. Thank you. Thank you. 